Hello, Empty Hanger fam, and happy Friday to you. And it's Friday. That means we are going to have a little Empty Hanger chat. Now, my location at this very moment is quite strategic. Look behind me. What do you see? Look at all that jewelry. That is what we will be talking about today, the influence and power of jewelry. Now, I had an interview with a photographer by the name of Natalie Siniscali not so long ago, and she said to me, she shared this little story about buying a piece of jewelry from her friend, who happens to be a jewelry designer. And her friend was thrilled with the piece that she bought, and she said, oh, I'm so happy you got this. Now this can be a part of your daily armor. So she associated jewelry and clothing with armor, the armor that we put on before we walk out into the world every single day. So I happen to have a little fascination uh, with jewelry. Um, this wall really doesn't show it, but I am gonna show you my uh, main, main jewelry and necklace wall in just a moment. But here's why necklaces are so important to me. I think that they're part of the storytelling process. And a lot of jewelers seem to agree. They say a certain piece of jewelry can help tell a story. Um, I see jewelry associated with memories, um, people that were in your life, uh, special moments, and sometimes you're gifted with a family heirloom that is incredibly significant and means a great deal to you um, and your ancestors. So here's my advice to you. It's so easy to forget some of the jewelry pieces that we have, so take stock of what you've got recall some of those awesome memories and then think of new pieces that you'd like to incorporate to mix things up in your wardrobe and so you can also create new memories so that is our empty hanger chat for this friday have a awesome weekend phenomenal weekend fantastic weekend i will see you next time Bye bye